Hey everybody, Phil here with CarCraft Classics. Once again, showing off some new inventory. And I'd like to admit it to the masses, I've got a problem with the square bodies. <laughs> like a lot of us do, I love them. Got a beautiful one here to show you that we went completely crazy on. Just like the black one, if you saw the recent uh, video we posted for the black 87. Went a little bit overboard, kinda building that one out and we've done the same thing with this one got a long story to tell you about this truck before we do that for those of you watching one of my videos for the first time this is car craft classics we're located at 321 Canton Road in Cumming Georgia we're about 30 miles north of Atlanta phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977 my cell is 770-317 1415 again that's 770 317 1415 email address is carcraftclassics at gmail.com and of course our web address is carcraftclassics.com shooting this video today to share a beautiful 1986 Chevrolet C10 that we have for sale and there'll be still shots you know pictures on our website carcraftclassics.com We'll take 50 or 60 pictures of the undercarriage, the exterior, the interior, under the hood, etc., etc. It's a little windy today. I hope that doesn't affect the volume on the uh, on the video here. Hopefully, you can hear me clearly. And do me a favor: if you like classic cars, trucks, neon signs, wheel and tire packages, etc., please give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe to our channel. Uh, it really helps small business owners like myself with exposure on the internet, so I'd really appreciate that. So, let's see, where do we start with this 1986 model? I picked this up probably over a year ago, and a real nice gentleman down in Florida bought it from me. I don't think we even got it listed up on the internet when I first owned it. I think he saw it in the background in a video or called and was looking for a square body. So anyway, he bought it, and I think at that point he had us lower it. We did a typical four and a half, six drop. Added these Riddler wheels. Beautiful wheels. Actually, these hits a set of US mags, not Riddler. We sell both companies, but anyway, those are US mag chrome wheels. And what else did we do for him? I think we added a dash pad. And maybe a couple other little, little things. That lowering kit that we did was uh, spindles and springs up front. Lowering kit in the rear with the uh, shock relocation uh, brackets as well. And when he got it, he did not like it. He thought the rear end was a little bit too low. So I think he unflipped the rear end and lowered it just with a shackle. So what you essentially have now is a four and a half drop in the front and maybe a four inch drop in the rear. I kind of like it, I have to admit. Larry, the gentleman in Florida that, that originally bought the truck, he was onto something. I like it with a little bit of rake with the front low and the back, you know, kind of raised up a little higher than the typical drop. But for customers out there that might be interested in the truck, you know, just let us know. If you want that lowered a couple more inches, we can flip that rear end again and make sure everything's right. We have all the parts here at the shop to do that. But again, it looks kind of cool. Um, so anyway, Larry got the truck, enjoyed it. Unfortunately, experienced the death in the family and just it wasn't the right time for the truck so he said it was for sale and I bought it back from him when we got it up here the engine just wasn't running right it, the truck you know I took it home I drove it for a weekend it was it was okay but it just felt like it was underpowered I don't know if there was an electrical issue or an internal problem with the motor whatever it was the truck is way too nice to drive the way it was so we decided to go ahead and replace the motor so I contacted uh, one of our motor distributors, Jasper Engines. I'm sure most of you have heard of them. They're up in Indiana. They've got great products, and they gave us a remanufactured, completely, to me, new 350-cubic-inch uh, V8 motor. Let's take a look in the jewelry box. I mean, when I tell you everything's new under here, I mean everything. Let's start up front. The whole core support aka radiator support is brand new this entire metal piece 
going in behind the headlights and all the way down to where the bumper mounts is all brand new. Pick that up at AMD. While I was at AMD, we also picked up some inner fenders. Those are all brand new in there as well. Got the original jack, painted it and put it in there. And the one last piece we picked up from Auto Metal Direct is the battery tray. So all the sheet metal in here is new. The inner fender sides there, as well as the firewall, were completely stripped and repainted. All the wiring, everything was removed. Everything went back in with new hardware. And anything broken was replaced, including this master cylinder. You can see the frame rails. The truck is completely rust free. See the frame rails down there, super clean, all new hardware. New fan shroud. Fan was blasted and cleaned up. So anything in here that wasn't broken, we kept it, we stripped it, and we painted it. So it would match the rest of the interior, our engine compartment here, which is gorgeous. My mechanic, Carol, aka Bub, that did a great job in here with all the detail especially on the hardware. The nuts and bolts are even clean. I mean, the details through the roof. The wiring in here, there was some grounding issues. There was some, you know, wires burning in here. It just wasn't right. So we tore it out and we found a serviceable, good wiring harness out of an old, older square body, cleaned it up, made sure all the connections were true and everything was fine. And we installed that as well. So you got all new wiring under the hood, all new AC components, Power steering pump is has a new belt on it, but that is not new. Clean that up, it was fine. Let's see, before we move away from this side, we've got the wiper uh, reservoir tank, that's new. The radiator overflow tank, that's new as well. All new AC parts, as I mentioned. New alternator, new water pump down there. Let's see if we can see that. Brand new water pump, again, all new belts and a completely new engine. We've got, again, it's a 350 cubic inch V8 with a four barrel Edelbrock carburetor under there. Hopefully you can see that. The electronic choke is hooked up. I mean, even things like the vacuum advance back there, brand new distributor, cap, rotor, wires, plugs, everything new. Valve covers, air cleaner, and if you watch my videos on the square bodies, one of my little stickler points is the exhaust manifolds drive me crazy when they're all rusted out. You can do as much work as you want inside the engine compartment. If you leave those, you're making a mistake. Now, Larry had already done the exhaust brand new. Um, and then we basically bought the matching uh, or original style exhaust manifolds, as you can see, and connected those to the new exhaust that Larry had done when he owned the truck. So it's all new from tip to, you know, from the back to the front, the exhaust system. There's that other exhaust manifold there. Block brand new, intake manifold brand new, fuel line brand new. I mean, look at that firewall, how clean, even the case for the blower motor, new. Super beautiful under the hood. I know I'm forgetting something in here. Radiator, brand new. Radiator cap, brand new. Underhood mat, pick that up from Jags, brand new. Just beautiful under here. If you're looking for a square body, knock around, you know, take to Home Depot. I don't think this is the one. If you're looking for, for something to take to the shows, but that's also going to be reliable, that you're going to be able to enjoy, win some trophies, cruise around and get lots of attention. This is the one. I mean, everything in here, as I mentioned, is replaced, brand new, or cleaned up, including all the sensors for the, you know, temp gauge, for the oil pressure gauge, all those little knick-knack things that you have to replace on these trucks is all new. And then, as I mentioned, the, the, uh, the sheet metal, inner fenders, Radiator support, battery tray, forget, forget about worrying about rust. And that was the problem 
You know, we thought this truck was completely rust free, but when we took it apart, we took the fenders off and everything to do the engine work, and we noticed the radiator support at the very bottom was rusted out or rotted away, so to speak. It wasn't really any existing rust, but it was rotted away, so that needed to be replaced. I figured while we were in there, uh, structurally it was okay, but it just looked like crap. Bumpers, front and rear sport bumpers with the chin spoiler, brand new. Paint is easily a nine out of 10. Has no rust, no bubbling, no flaking, no problems. Again, US mag bullet wheels in chrome, 20 inch staggered. Red brake calipers. This thing is gorgeous. Love the two-tone trucks. I don't mind the solid either. I like that too, but this thing was painted before I got it and they did a good job. The paint is in great shape. The two-tone is separated well by this brand new pinstripe. I know you've heard me say this before. Sorry to be repetitive, but this has got to be one of the nicest ones we've had. It is a Silverado truck, so it's got the power windows, power locks. Tilt wheel cruise, I believe. I'm not sure. We might not have hooked the cruise back up. I'm not sure on that. I'll have to test it out, but truck basically needs nothing. The only thing is it has a forever sharp custom steering wheel that was put on by the uh, previous owner and he did not hook up the horn and I think there's a piece missing in the, in the horn mechanism. So we're gonna have to figure that out, but that's probably the only thing not working. Took it on a nice long test drive yesterday. All the gauges are working. everything's in great shape and working lights i think the reverse lights weren't working so we took care of that as well bed is in excellent shape as well painted to match no bed liner in here Sorry about the shadows. I will pull the truck inside when I'm done with the video and I'll get you good clear pictures of the interior, the engine compartment, etc. So that, uh, you know, without shadows so that you can make it out. But I always like to shoot these videos because a lot of my customers can't make it here. And just in case I miss something with the, uh, with the pictures, I like to show you everything I can with the video as well. Now the undercarriage, you know, we, as you saw, we painted the frame rails up front because the engine compartment was so nicely detailed and all new. So we wanted it to match, but I didn't paint the rest of the undercarriage because a lot of guys complain about that. You know, they suspect that you're hiding something. You know, we can do that. We can do whatever you want to this truck, but I left it kind of natural. Uh, there's no rust, there's no rot, but we'll get it up on the rack. And on our website, there will be pictures of the undercarriage, as I mentioned. This thing is gorgeous. Door panels appear to be original. They are in great shape. Bottoms of the doors, you can see there was no rust repair or anything like that. Power windows go up and down pretty good. Better than most of the square bodies, you know, they, they can be really slow, those power windows, but these aren't too bad. It's got kind of a stock kind of seat, good reliable vinyl seat for you to jump in and out. We can customize that if you'd like. I uh, just thought it was in good enough shape to leave alone. Somewhere along the line, it got a new carpet kit. It's got OBS era, the 88 to 98 floor mats in it. We'll leave those for the next buyer. As I mentioned to you before, we had already put a new dash pad in it, so it's brand new. Came from Cheyenne Truck Parts. It's in excellent shape. 
Headliner's fine. Interior light works. It's got the factory option sliding rear window. Guys working on the roof next door. So you hear that talking in the background. Anyway, pin straight, rust free truck. As I mentioned before, any of the sheet metal that we found that was rusted or rotted, we pulled it off. Should have saw this truck about two weeks ago. Completely, the whole front end just completely disassembled. Love those chrome US mag wheels. Again, those are the bullet wheels, 20 inch staggered. Uh, eight in the front, 10 in the rear. So again, as far as the drop, four and a half, four I believe on this truck right now. And the nice thing about it is, you know, rides a little bit smoother in the rear this way. If you don't like that rake, as I mentioned to you before, we can, you know, if you want to lower the rear end a couple inches, we can flip that rear end again and get everything squared away for you and it'll come down about another two or three inches and there is no C notch in the frame the frame is still factory it has not been cut beautiful burgundy interior mixed with the with the lighter red carpet looks really really nice again she's a Silverado so it's got the power windows power locks Got the Forever Sharp steering wheel with the wood grain wheel with the polished center. Again, it's got kind of like a factory style seat. Rockers are in great shape. Put a new dad, uh, gauge bezel in it. I love that style with the chrome trim around the each gauge opening. Got the tilt wheel. AC was missing some sort of clip. I think uh, our mechanic, Bub, mentioned it was called a blend clip. So the air was blown out only through one of the vent choices there. So I think it was coming out the dash, but it wouldn't do the defrost and it wouldn't do at the feet. So we replaced that as well. So now that's all operating correctly. Another big thing we did, one of my other pet peeves is these stereos. This radio came in, or I'm sorry, this truck came in with the, one of those modern stereos, the rectangle without the knobs, and that drives me out of my mind. So we had a radio laying around, and what Bub did for us was he basically cut out the metal around the perimeter of the square or the rectangle radio, and then we, we found a cab out there and were able to cut the sheet metal can see a little bit of it over here just a little bit on the side uh, we cut a piece of sheet metal out so that we could go back and install the dual knob radio the old school style and yes it does work it's a dual tank truck the switch does work she starts like she's angry this truck did an absolute knockdown job on this truck front to back I just love that we were able to go back with that stereo that's another one like I said of my nitpicky things I don't like when people cut the dash and the plastic bezel and put in one of those modern stereos it doesn't look right she's tuned up good just tuned the carb the other day uh, got it all dialed in. The timing is right. This truck is ready to roll. Like I said, all new exhaust, all new engine, intake, carb, the whole nine. I'm not going to go through it again, but dash lights weren't working. We got those working now. Windows, as I mentioned, go up and down pretty quick for a square body. Nice and smooth. Choke is working. tap of the pedal and the idle level goes right down. 
just nice to have a square body where everything's working. You know, I know all of us love them, but uh, they can be a pain in the neck with all the little things that can wear out and break over time. This one, we've dotted all those I's. We've crossed all those T's. This thing is ready, except, like I said, for the horn. Uh, everything, all the lights, all the gauges, everything's working now. And this truck originally came out of South Carolina. And when it got to me, it wasn't leaking. We sold it and it came back with a leaky, a little bit of a leak in the transmission. After we replaced the motor, as I mentioned to you here. Um... We went after that transmission leak. Turns out it needed a pan gasket and a tail uh, a tail shaft seal, I think it's called. We put that in as well. Actually installed that twice. We had to buy another one. So we've got everything. It's completely leak free, ready to roll. That engine, by the way comes with let's see here a three-year warranty so if you have any troubles with it have all this warranty information in here from Jasper as you can see and as well with the SPID all the factory codes and the options on this particular truck Yeah, this, this is a great truck for someone who's looking for turnkey. It's not a project. One of the things I really like about the dash pads at Cheyenne Truck Parts is you can get the dash pad with all the molding and all new vents. So on a truck like this that's super slick and nice, you don't have to put your old crappy vents in your new dash pad. Even the badge, the Silverado badge is even brand new. factory mirrors on there. Just got to love that red and white two-tone paint. So again, it's an 86. So it's got the dual headlights set up in the front with the color matched molding piece splitting the grill. As I mentioned before, new bumper, chin spoiler. She's a beauty. glass is fine, side glass is fine, windshield is good, even new mounting bolts as you can see in the bed, or to mount the bed to the frame. Alright guys and gals out there, thank you so much for watching the video. Let's get down to the brass tacks. The asking price for this truck is $37.5. Again, that includes the new motor, all the parts, all the work we've done. And she's ready to roll don't really have much negotiating room on this truck I'll be honest we are deep in it unfortunately uh, you know again just don't have the room to negotiate much on this beautiful truck but we hate to even talk price in something this nice you know, these trucks are only gaining in value every day I gotta think if you roll this across the block in any of these high-end auctions It'd probably bring 50, but that's just a prediction on my part. I don't know. Paint, as I mentioned, it's about a 9 out of 10. Super slick. Body side molding's all there. Pinstripe is there. Truck runs and drives great. Shifts out, awesome. Doesn't run hot. All the gauges work, etc., etc. All right, so like I said, 37.5 is the asking price. Give me a holler if you have any questions. 770-317-1415 is my cell. My name is Phil, I'm the owner here. We can help you with further customization if you wanna do anything to the truck, as I mentioned. Maybe lower that rear end if that's you know what you wanna do, we can help. If you did wanna change the wheels, you'd be breaking my heart, but you 
You can do that, we can help with that as well. Shipping and financing, we can also help with. Just give me a holler if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Be safe out there and God bless America.